Alrighty, Alvin and I are out in a GTS today. I love me some GTS. And we're answering the question that nobody asked, which was, what if you want to spend your money on paint a sample on the interior of your car instead of the exterior? That's right. Not everybody wants a flashy color like a mumba green on the outside of their car. Maybe you want a flashy color on the inside of your car. This is what this car has. And to be honest, when I first saw a picture of this car, I was, oh, that might be a bit tough to, to handle, but seeing it in real life this is an amazing interior but we'll get to more details on the interior when i stop the car and we'll take a closer look around otherwise this is a pretty standard gts and the gts with a manual transmission my favorite configuration <laughs> and they are incredible cars to drive yes the S and the GTS really are, in my book, the pinnacle of the 911s at the moment. And as we come towards the end of the 992.1 production, a lot of people are asking me, when is the 992.2 coming out? Well, it seems that we're getting about a half a year of model year 24 in this current model. That is, until the end of the year, we'll still see 992.1s, and then it will switch over for the model, model year 24.5, for the new 992.2s. The problem that people are having, of course, buying cars right now is that we're starting to get low on parts. That is, they're dropping some features out of these 992.1s um, because they're just running low on parts. And this particular GTS is actually a build that I approve of. It's a pretty basic build. That is, apart from the money spent on the interior, there's not a lot of other extras. It's got the sports exhaust and the premium pack, but it doesn't have rear wheel steering and it doesn't have a lot of the other expensive options like PDCC or any of those things which end up really raising the price of these cars and don't really add a lot to them. You know, the Carrera T, the Carrera S and the GTS are all such amazing cars. Even in their most base form, they don't need a lot of extras. The other interesting thing about this particular car is that it had the paint protection film put on by the dealership and it's a complete paint protection film, the whole car, and it's a pre-cut paint protection film, and it is just one of the worst jobs I've ever seen. And it's one of those things where, you know, the owner of this car was sort of forced into this option because to get this allocation, he had to buy a bunch of extras, including paint protection film. But I'll, t I'll, take, but I'll take you around the paint protection film and I'll show you just how shoddy the work is when the dealer does pre-cut paint protection film. It's, it really, it really detracts from the beauty of this car. Before we get to talking about the interior, let's give it a little bit of a thrashing. I'll drop it to third, put my foot down. Ooh. <laughs> I'm always impressed with just how great this three liter turbocharged engine sounds and how responsive it is. I mean, the turbo comes on instantly. motors along this car and back to back from driving the Carrera T I was driving the other day the only big difference I notice is the stiffer dampening you know the bumps you really you really feel the bumps in the GTS more so than you feel in the Carrera T or the S that's really the major difference between these cars apart from trim items Okay, let's stop messing around and take a look at the money shot of this car, the, where the money has been spent, so to speak. And that is on a Porsche exclusive interior. In this case, speed blue leather and stitching. Yep, this is $17,000, excuse me Albert, we just need you out of here for a moment. $17,000 at point of purchase. In fact, I think it's gone up a little bit since then, but it does include a great deal of customization within the car. And as you can see, it includes a leather package here or down the side, all sorts of stitching around the top and the edges, the steering wheel, you name it. There's stitching everywhere, matching the very bright speed blue leather inside. Also includes the 930 leather package. And if you have a look around, you'll see a lot more leather everywhere. This, this particular car has also had some customization done. But here you can see Porsche exclusive manufacturer um, this is the stamp when you spend that $17,000 on this interior. And the whole idea is to personalize this car to the owner, which is very much what's happened here. 
And as you'd expect at this price point, they really take the deviated stitching package to another level. But let's talk about this color combo. On the outside, you can take a dead boring color like this car is in ice gray metallic, and then you come around and open the door and bam, you've got this speed blue on the inside, which is an amazing contrast. Well, I wondered what everyone would think, so I posted a photo of this color in my Instagram a couple of weeks ago, and pretty much it was a split 50-50 between people going, oh, that's amazing, and people going, oh, that's terrible. And to be honest, I was one of the people that thought, oh, that might be a bit much until I saw it in real life and realized I love the contrast of this configuration. And it is sort of a classic combo of a sort of white on the outside and blue on the interior. And some of you might have spotted some of the other subtle changes the owner has made to this GTS. Darker high stop tail lights, darker reflectors, painted brake calipers to match the signature color inside, added the GT3 side skirt, Euro reflectors and some really nice radiator grills stop those stones and on the inside an additional liberal splattering of carbon fiber. So finally I wanted to circle back and talk about the paint protection film that was applied to this car. This is known as pre-cut paint protection film and as you'll see the results are pretty horrendous. Um, when you don't have paint protection film custom fitted to your car you get results like this where there's big gaps uh, between the film and the panels and you even get overlaps or overruns which collect dirt and look unsightly. It's really only bad dealers that do this and you pay a lot of money for this product just to cheapen your car. So make sure if you're getting paint protection film it is custom fitted to your car not pre-cut as in the case with this car. So that's the Carrera GTS with the speed blue interior and I wholeheartedly approve. You know there's a lot of boring Porsche builds out there and sure, you can go too far, but I find this car to be a nice contrast, something a little different without being too over the top. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye then.